Tim Richards here from Rock the Stage NYC here on YouTube and rpmvocalstudio.com on the web for voice lessons worldwide. As always, check out the description there for links to all my videos and playlists to take lessons with me via Skype or here in New York City. Um, you can also get both my vocal courses just for $50. Uh, both as digital downloads. If you want to check out what the courses are like, there's a link in there for do the Vox Shop. Go over there, check out what the courses are, come back here and use the discount link for half off because being a cool person and watching this video. Also today I'm going to give another recommendation to another vocal coach that I'd like you to check out. Her name is Eve Soto and she's at readytosing.net. Um, she's here on YouTube as well, Eve Soto. She is one of my old vocal coaches. Most of what you hear me talk about on this channel about breathing comes from Eve. She is fantastic about breath support. She's also really good if you're into like R&B and like light pop and like soul and gospel, uh, Christian music. Head on over and take a look at Eve. She's really great with all the riff and runs and all that kind of stuff. Again, she was one of my old vocal coaches way back when. So um, I, I wholeheartedly, do, again, her link will be down in the description. So. Uh, but check out Eve Soto there. But today's lesson is going about getting really big, small notes. Now, I know that sounds kind of oxymoronish, but how do you get a big, small note? Well, it's by tone. The note itself will be physically small on the vocal cords, but the tonality that will create will be big. It will give the illusion that the note is actually thicker than it actually is. Um, and this is the... the uh, the exercise that I teach people how to do. We start with a very, very small sound first. This ah, 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 which is kind of a vocal fry. It's this very kind of fry squeak. If you can't do that, that's okay. At one time, I couldn't do this either. Um, starting here on the F, this is the F above middle C here. Um, but what we do here is stick the tongue out like a dog, panting, and we do it like this. Ah, 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 ah. And you hear that edgy, ah, 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 that edgy cackle? That's exactly what we want. As we go up, well, we'll start here in the middle C. Uh, 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 you want to feel it on your bottom lip. Do not let it get. <laughs> Don't let it get breathy. Keep it that edgy. Uh, uh. It's kind of a, a cackly cry. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to feel your tongue on your bottom lip. If you can't go that high, that's okay. Go as high as you can comfortably. Don't force it. Don't choke yourself. Once you can get that where it's clean and you get this edgy cackle each time, now legato it. See how it's clean? Doesn't sound like I'm doing a high C here, right? Anyway, put the tongue back in and make it an uh sound. There we were doing F, E, H, right? Now we're going to do U, H. So it's uh. See, and you're going for that edgy cackle. Uh, uh. That starts to sound a bit thicker. So we're keeping the tongue in a locked position, keeping that larynx down, for keeping it from going up. Now. I want to make sure that that top note, here that's the G above middle C, G4, it sounds the same when I go back to it. and uh, 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 as much as possible, trying to keep that larynx down. Once 
once you kind of get that where it sounds good, make a word out of it. We're going to use the word yeah, one of my favorite words. Yeah, 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 yeah,